This is a quick video over the ternary plot diagram. And we will start off with just ex just explaining what some of these parts are. Right here represents a hundred percent A. So if we had a system and that and it was at this very point, that'd mean the system was entirely A. If we had a point all the way down here, this would represent a hundred percent C are a system made up completely of C. And B is the same, same idea. If we had a point right here, this would be a 100% B, or a system made up entirely of B. So as we go down, this line right here represents 90% of A. So we have a system made up of 90% of a 80 percent 70 and you just keep on going so any line that is completely horizontal means that it, it is the a part so it means it represents what percentage of a there is so this part would represent 10 percent and this part at the very bottom very bottom represent represent zero percent a so that would mean that there is no A in the system, or the system is made up of just A, or just B and C. So if it's not at one of these very edge points, then it is either, it is made up of B and C. If it was right here, right here, the system would be 50% B and 50% C. See, because this is 90 80, 70, 60, 50, and go the same way for C. This is 90% C, 80%, uh, 70%, 60%, and, and 50% C. So that's A. Now we can start off going with what line actually represents C. So if we actually just flipped it, we'd do the exact same idea, where the very edge corner represents 100% C. This line represents 90, this 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 percent, and 0 percent C. 0 percent C. Here again, this would be would mean it's completely A. Right here would mean it's completely B. And if it's in between those two dots, that means it is a system made up of either A or B. So let's just do an example. Let's do an example. Let's say we have a system that is that is so we have a system that is 60 kilograms of A and 40 kilograms of B. So that means we have a system that has a total of 100 kilograms of A and B. So that would mean it would be somewhere on this line since there is no C, and it is made up of 60%, 60% A, and 40% B. So where is 60% of A on this chart? So on this chart, 60% of A is, so this is 90, this is 80, this is 70, this is 60. So to have a system that's 60%, A means it is somewhere on this line. Now we have a system that is 40% B, and to have a system that is 40% B means it must be somewhere on one of these lines. So this is 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40. So to have a system that's, that is 40% B means it must be on this line. And this system only has 60 and 40% B, so it must meet at this point. And our diagram agrees with our system because our system has no C in it, and our diagram says that we only have, we have 0% C. Well, let's say we combine this system, we combine this system with, oh, a hundred, a hundred kilograms of C. So, whoops, 100 kilograms of C. So our system is again a 100% C, so it would be right there. And now our system is, if we mix them, combine these two, we have a system that is 
a hundred kilograms of A and B at plus a hundred kilograms of C means we have a system of a total of two hundred kilograms where the system where the mixture of A and B represented fifty percent fifty percent of the system and C represents fifty percent of the system as well so if we have a system that is now fifty percent then that means we go to the fifty percent line of C so this is nine eighty or 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, so our system must be somewhere on this line. And really, we could break this 100 part where it's just, we can break that apart where you can say that's 60 kilograms of A and 40 kilograms of B, so our system is made up of 20% B, 20% B, so this line represents 20% B, And this line right here represents 30% of it, A. And that's what we have. We have this point right here where it has 50% C, 50% C, 30% uh, A, so that's C, and 20% B. So that's how you read these diagrams. There's a little trick that you can actually add in. I'll show you maybe in another video where you can actually just draw a line straight across to each one of our mixtures. So if you drew a line that was straight and this one's not, but if you drew a line straight, our system will always be somewhere on that line when you mix two different two different uh, mixtures. So if we had a mixture that was right here, and a mixture right here, if we mixed them, they would be somewhere on this line. So, and I will go in more in detail on that in the next video.